Right, for other, we have then straight and four swords. For some of you, it probably been um, if uh, maybe even struggling a little bit financially. I'm not saying it doesn't, they didn't have enough money for bread or, or something, but um, maybe it was some kind of difficulties. But you work this through, and to show you work this through. I don't feel like someone work did it did work for you, but you did it yourself. Maybe extra hours, more clients, or advertising. Something did work for your business, and you did well. For others, they feel that as we had empress, emperor. Sorry, not empress, <laughs> emperor. And I have King of Pentacles here. I do feel it could be your father. Maybe you had some news about your father. And I do feel that it could be money related. Maybe you inherited some money from your father. Maybe your father gave you some money. Or about to give you. If this didn't happen yet. Okay, then we have Eight of Swords with the Queen of Swords. So, Queen of Swords, if it's not you guys, it could be another air sign. Uh, so it would be... What else would be? Libra or Aquarius, isn't it? <laughs> um, it's significant to you. Uh, or it's just you in a mental prison you put yourself in. Let's see what this relates. It feels like financial part is over the moment, guys. Or uh, if it's not, I would say that mental prison, maybe you're trying to figure out how you actually, whatever you're doing at the time, how you can grow bigger how you can do even better but i would say don't feel that to any to many of you energies are not strong because following two cards give me taking me now different direction and that mental imprisonment and unbond is takes me to the moon and two of pentacles so what you're juggling about, Gemini, there is something in your life you're trying to juggle. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> um, something is hidden. Some, someone is not, not saying the truth or someone is not being through to yourself, to themselves. It could be you. It's someone close to you. With the three of cups, it could indicate that some of you might be involved in the love triangle. It could be just someone got your interest and, or maybe your partner have interested in someone um, in, earth, in earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be that. And... Uh, Maybe you did find out that your partner interesting in someone else. And now you just like, really? Just, uh, I thought it's just nothing. I thought just like a friends. But too many things happening. And you now it's, you are questioning yourself and your judgment. Oh, guys, another three of pentacles. So two cards is threes. So if it's love related, um, reading guys is definitely third party. If it's, let's say, third party guys, it's not always need to be three people involved, like in relationship, like two girls, one man, two men, or girls, or three girls, three men. You know, it could be parents. Not agreeing for what, uh, what you, you, the person you are with. Maybe they think this person is not good enough for you. It could be um, someone's like, let's say, sister or brother living together and just like, oh, can we just get a peace of mind? So it could be that too for some of you. And as we have three pentacles with a nine of pentacles, 
for some of you, do you feel you might think maybe it's just better to be on my own? Because Nine of Pentacles does indicate a single person is if in a love relationship readings and stuff, it's going by your own, going on your own. For those who have a business or something involving other people, let's say if you're in partnership with someone else or maybe with two people in partnership, I would say you might start thinking to going solo. Or you could be vice versa situation. Someone might say, you know, sorry guys, I'm leaving you, I'm going that way. Bye bye. It could be many different situations for what I can see. But some truth as a moon it shines it's going to show you certain situation in different angles you've never seen talk about angles i have a hangman on the bottom and i'm going to take it um this talks about suspension and stuff but in your situation guys what do you think is according you to look into the situation from different angle uh, take a different approach to the situation, you know, have this time out, maybe, you know, go visit your father or father figure, you feel like you have this connection, earthy connection, uh, friend, brother, anything, but I do feel that you need certain, for some of you, certain connection with like family related so it could be brother could be father you feeling close and you know maybe spend some time with them or get try to get advice from them um yeah two of ones is definitely talks about indecision what you do in the certain situation as i said there's definitely something's gonna come into the light and you i'm gonna show why and now we have, guys, two twos, two of pentacles and two of wands. Sorry, I hope you see. And we have three and threes. So for those who think that, I said, oh, financial improvement, someone's leaving, someone's leaving me, you know, do whatever. Don't be scared. It's still financial growth, if it's business related, if it's work related. Um, I do feel, see money coming into you. I do see you finally getting some kind of recognition. I do see uh, more clients. I can see bigger projects coming your way. Is definitely coming to you guys. But you have sneakiness around you guys seven of swords someone is not not something is not right around you guys and you're not seeing or you seeing it and refusing to see it do you know what i'm trying to <laughs> what i mean <laughs> but something with the moon card i do feel and with those two and twos and i did fell for quite a bit Gemini that there is some kind of decision or indecisions or refusing to make a decision and it's just like you keep refusing to do anything but if you're refusing to do anything about certain situation like let's say if you three people partner up or two people partner up in the business and you know someone's Thing, not right, not good, not good job. But you just, ah, oh, it's just a piece, my friend. I, I can't do that. I can't. I could let go. It's gonna be your lost. This pentacle is gonna be like gone because it's relationship, any relationship, love relationship, business relationship, whatever you're refusing to see it, it's not gonna. And you will refuse to do anything about it and just hang there. You will continue being there. And you will torture yourself. 
But now ask yourself, how long you can do that? And is it worth it? Then you actually can be here, enjoying yourself, being happy about this new prospects coming your way, guys. And we have an empress. As I said, for some of you, Aries is a very important person with the page of swords. I feel if it could be harsh truths coming from, from the person, harsh words, but truthful. Maybe someone's finally going to say, what the heck? How long are you going to do this? How long? Where is the sparkle in your eyes? Why are you not happy? I want to see you happy. It could be your friend, it could be your sister, mother, anyone. Uh, so we have emperor and empress. So definitely could be something to do with parents or someone very close to you or very important. But be that. Be the empress. Be nine of pentacles. They have similar energies. Empress does talk about new beginnings, new projects, new passion, like coming in, the growth. There is no growth at the moment for some of you. For those who is refusing to do anything about situation. But maybe you can be finally yourself and say the truth. How you feel about certain situation and what you want to actually do. Because you know you can have this. Does it make it sense to you? <laughs> okay. Give and take on a bottom. Six of pentacles. So that talks about equality. Um, in any way, partnership. In any partnership, it's equality. Gemini, if this something is not good, not brings this happiness and satisfaction in your life, why the heck are you letting them do that? Why the heck this certain situation you're letting you miserable? Don't hang there. Don't hang. If you, because you've been hanging very long time. And I think by that you at least what good you can do to take a different approach and different views on, on your situation. Because this shining, maybe you're scared that you're not strong enough to deal with certain situation. But you are, guys. Okay. And I had to use my one of the new decks I have. Psychic Tara for the heart. Yeah, that's how it's called. Okay, let's see what messages we have for you. Hmm, don't know what you think you're doing, Gemini. You're making yourself miserable. It's just literally, I would say, like you, some of you might feel like a caged bird. Yeah, but the cage doors are open, they've never been locked. So all is in here. Manifest. Look at this. Finally, guys. Manifest. It's like magician card. And in this deck, this is from one of the major Kana decks. And it does uh, definitely feels like magician. Manifest. Magician is Gemini's card too, I do feel, most of the times. And... It's your time. You are strong enough. What the heck? You are afraid. Do you scared to gonna put someone down? They haven't been. They haven't been scared to do that for you for many for many years for some of you. And you letting them? Why? So that's a new deck. I do feel you just maybe scared of the changes coming and you're just holding to that, I don't know, what are you calling that, savoring or whatever, 
and just or somewhere like um, run somewhere in the middle of the lake and you're scared to let go to reach for the shore why it just you can't stay there forever you can't stay there forever guys let go and and swim to that shore feel you know look how this man holds his heart he's feel he doesn't feel heaviness here he doesn't look how peaceful is around him and he does enjoys so why you can do the same thing for yourself why you can let go and find finally this peace of mind okay let's see another deck card from universal love beautiful deck brand new let's see what do we have for you guys okay jumping then we have mystic Maybe that's me. <laughs> Here you go. So this card calls upon you to finally like listen to yourself, listen to your inner voice, your guidance, intuition, gut feeling, uh, take notice into the signs, uh, dreams, especially signs. Take a notice, you know, what's happening, what signs you're getting it, you know don't it's just yeah this card definitely calls you to call into you know notice those things listen to yourself listen to your inner voice guys and look in the bottom we have heaven on earth you can have this you can have this if only if you want to only if you dare to dig in to get that strain from yourself and swim to the shore and finally then you will be able to manifest what you actually want <laughs>